Hello everyone. This is Mr. Halim from Harmony Science Academy, West Houston. I did two experiments for you. One diffusion lab and the other one is osmosis lab. And I told you I was going to make calculations for the osmosis lab. I was going to calculate percent change in mass. I already have my data in my data table in an Excel spreadsheet. I have my concentrations and initial masses and final masses of the dialysis tubings for each concentration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this formula to calculate the percent change in mass. What I'll do is final mass minus initial mass divided by initial mass and multiply the result by 100. So I use parentheses to show you the order of operations. It is very important to get accurate results follow the order of operations. I will use the formula bar property of the Excel worksheet to calculate the percent change in mass. I'll hit this cell first and then click here the formula bar. Put an equal sign meaning that the value here in this cell will be calculated by the following formula. Now what is the formula? Final mass which is 11.75 in this case and I hit this cell to indicate the cell and minus initial mass in this case is 11.84 I will hit this cell so as you can see it automatically re writes the coordinates of the designated cell like for this one it is C column and row 2 so it's C2 and for the initial mass it is column B row 2 and then I will put parenthesis here to follow the order of operations and then divide this value by the initial mass and I will hit this again because this is my initial mass. Once I get this I will put another parenthesis to follow the order of operations again and I will multiply this value by 100 when you, once you click enter it will calculate you the result so what we expect in zero molar concentration we expect a balance of course water molecules will move in and out in the dialysis tubing because of their kinetic energy they're constantly moving randomly moving but osmotic pressure must be balanced in each side so we wouldn't expect any change in mass in the dialysis bag this is very small change we can consider this as zero and following ones you don't have to write the same formula you just keep the cell and drag it until you get one it will calculate each of the result for you so as you can see increasing percentage of change in mass masses I've messed up this one as you can remember from the experiment because I didn't leave leave the dialysis tubings for 30 minutes I left them in their cups more than one hour so it reached turgor and it cannot receive as many water as it can receive it just stopped because there is no space to get water now this is our calculation for percent change in mass but what I will do next is 
I will put this two variable in a scatter diagram to show you the relationship between these two con between these two variables. I select this two set of data. I click insert and select the scatter diagram. This is our scatter diagram and you can see the trend. Here's two variable. What you need is you might need a regression line which will help you to visualize the relationship between these two variables. You don't have the names of the axes, so this axis, as you can see, this is the concentration. Concentration, molars. And on the y-axis, you have osmosis rate. The percent change in mass is an indication, indicating factor for me for the osmosis rate. There you go, this is your graph. What you can do, like further, is calculate the correlation coefficient between these two variables to see how strong is the relationship. As you can see here, there's a positive relationship, positive association between these two variables, but how strong this relationship. To do this, you can calculate correlation coefficient how you will do it use the formula property of Excel worksheet I already have this in my recent used formulas but where do you find it go here from the drop down menu select statistical click C and you will see correlation here select the correlation and click OK it will ask you to indicate the numbers so the first data set is your concentration second data set is your percent change in mass after indicating this just click OK it will calculate correlation coefficient for you easily you don't have to know how to calculate it it is pretty useful though to know how to calculate it There it is very close to one indicating this is very strong relationship I'm not saying this is causal relationship but it is very strong relationship between these two variable so when you change the osmosis when you change the concentration osmosis rate will change Thank you very much for watching, I hope this is helpful.